This video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a free-to-play tactical team-based shooter with three basic types of armament, ship artillery, torpedoes, and aircraft. There's more than 650 historical ships available to play, which are spread across 13 different nations and tiers, unlocking more as you level up after battle. There's five different ship classes, destroyers, cruisers, battleships, aircraft carriers, and also submarines, with each class offering a different gameplay experience to suit your own playstyle. The ships are designed based on real historical documents and actual blueprints from the first half of the 20th century, accurately bringing these warships to life in-game. World of Warships features stunning graphics, a variety of maps, changing weather conditions that impact gameplay, constantly changing up the battle scenarios you'll face. You can invite your friends to assemble your own division, or you can join a clan and find your own shipmates to launch into combat with. The game is constantly evolving with regular content updates every month, including collaborations with other games, music groups, anime titles, holiday specials, new missions, battle passes, and more. You'll always find something new to dive into and enjoy. So get started today in World of Warships, register an account via the link in the description to claim a free exclusive starter pack worth 25 euros. It includes 300 doubloons, 7 days of premium, 1 million credits, a tier 4 ship, New Year Constellation Flag, 10 New Year Sky Camos, and 3 Santa Crates. So what are you waiting for? Your warship awaits, Captain. Happy Holidays. Welcome back to more Crusader Kings 3, our rise, the Persian Empire. We continue where we left things off last time, where we just split the Byzantine Empire in two. Claimed a nice little holiday home in Constantinople, which we need to sort out. Uh, and we'll do that in a minute when we unpause, as well as um, hold our grand wedding for my son and heir, Valerian. The prince of fashion. Just a shame that he can't keep it in his pants. The naughty, naughty fornicator. But before we do that, I just wanted to outline what our next series of Crusader Kings 3 is going to be once we finish this one. Because I wasn't sure if we were going to have a break or whether we were going to go straight into a new one. Uh, and I've decided what the next one's going to be. And it was suggested a little while back um, to do kind of a challenge run of forming the uh, Outrema Empire, which is essentially kind of like this chunk here. Uh, we can't see it. I can't bring it up right now because it's a decision title, so it won't appear until we have a decision title active and it won't show up for us because we need to be Catholic and everything else. There's quite a few stipulations of it. But essentially, it is the probably the, the, ult the ultimate Crusader King to become a Crusader King challenge or adventure i guess to, to become the ultimate crusader emperor in fact um claiming the holy land and forming an impenetrable unbreakable empire over here um so the kind of main thing is to choose where are we gonna start and you know what i i think i want to start from home i want to start from home and that is gonna mean starting in the barony of aaron we'll probably have to I guess switch in either a random character or create a custom character. If we do create a custom character, I won't make them overpowered or anything like that. We'll just kind of have some some nice starting traits and things like that. Um, and then build on up. So we'll start over in England, Barony of Arran in uh, in South Saxa, uh, Sussex. And the aim will be to become King of England first. We'll start in the 867 AD start. Become King of England and then launch a successful crusade. Now, when we do that, It'll, we'll have to set up a beneficiary, so we won't be able to continue playing as the character of, of King of England. We'll have to switch. Now, I wasn't sure about beneficiaries, but I asked, asked Twitch chat, shout out to Midgeman and to 86 Lars um, for all their info they were sharing about this. Uh, and they were basically saying that I would need to, it can go to somebody that's not in line to inherit. So probably the easiest way is if I have a an heir and a spare and the spare is good, we'd want them to be the character we then go on to play as, disinherit them. And then we can make them the beneficiary for a crusade to, say, claim the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Once we then set, up, set them up, they'll need to continue fighting and expanding over here, which could be pretty difficult. So we may need to try and shatter the Abbasids and what have you as well. Um, it'll be pretty difficult not to get blasted. But I guess if it fails, then we just go back to playing as whoever's in England and try again and keep going until we have a successful Crusader King and then Crusader Emperor. But yeah, from the from the Kingdom of Jerusalem, we will found the Atrima Empire. And then as a bonus objective from that, what I would like to do ending that series is once we've once we've created the Atrima Empire is to then invade and reclaim England and unify England and 
the Crusader Empire as the ultimate Crusader King. So hopefully that sounds good. Hopefully that sounds interesting. Uh, and you guys are looking forward to that. And that will be the series that uh, follows on from this Rise of the Persian Empire campaign, which uh, I don't know how much longer we've got to it. We said we would take over all of this. Uh, and, I, and I'm going to take out the Byzantines as well. So let's crack on. It's obviously we're not going to make massive strides today, I wouldn't have thought. We want to try and do this, don't we? Uh, and he's completely control all of Persia. So yeah, we'll do that. Uh, Dynasty of many crowns. I mean, maybe I create lots of kingdoms within it. That's probably doable. Dismantle the papacy. Don't think we'll bother today. Strengthen the bloodline. We're getting close to that. Um, getting very close indeed. <laughs> um, maybe we'll get lucky in the next one. If we can get intelligent, beautiful, and Amazonian. That'd be lovely right let's sort out these domain holdings then we're gonna have our wedding happy happy days we can disband our armies so that's that done i want to hold on to constantinople because boy oh boy does it generate a lot of gold um similar to the vikings to india campaign that i did that one i mean uh, in the way that it's a great migration um we might need to take territory in between mightn't we although to get back i don't know if our diplomatic range will be enough what's our diplomatic range right now can I can I see that? No, I can't. Can I? Um, over here. Can I? They're too far away to interact with, with us even holding here. So we'd probably have to take some middle ground, like Sicily, so we could leapfrog across. Um, but yeah, we'll see. But yeah, it won't. We obviously won't be Viking, so we won't have that Varangian adventure or doing anything like that. But yeah, it'll be it'll be it's a much shorter one. That's probably like half the distance that we did uh, Iceland to India because that was all the way up from from Iceland. All the way over Sri Lanka, and then we conquer all of India. This will be about half that trek. Cyprus is the traditional Crusader hotspot. That's very true, but and we'll have to take it at some point for sure. Probably once we've claimed the Kingdom of Jerusalem. Although unless it's held by the Byzantines, you won't want to do that. Um, but that won't give us enough movement to go. It's, it's probably we can get over there because we can launch the Crusade over there no problem. It's about once you've got the Outrima Empire. Coming back to England. But we'll figure that we'll figure that out. That'll be that'll be right at the end of the episode at the end of the series, probably what like 30, 40 episodes in at least. Um, so that'll be a long ways off. That's future me's problem. <laughs> we'll let future Lionheart deal with that. But anyway, we're still in this campaign today. And yeah, I want to hold Constantinople. The rest of it I'm very happy to give away. So I'm just gonna give it to Nobles of the Persian culture. And we gained some bits over here. Yeah, that's what I was say. We gained a lot over here because it was not only the war target that we gained, it was also any other additional territory to let's plop a load in here for now. It's fine. Get that Persian culture going strong. It was seven of eight. So I was thinking I was going to have to give away Alamut, wasn't I? Because I've not been able to make that work. Um. So yeah, bye bye Alama. There we go. Now we're seven of seven. Lovely. What can we do here? Prisons can be ransomed. Go for it, mate. Too few concubines. My daughter and my friend. Um. Let's not do that. Although she is robust and beautiful. But let's not, let, I think we've made this very, very circular. You know what I'll, what I'll also say we'll try and do in that? Because I know people always go on about it. Some people love it. Some people hate it. In the next campaign, we will try and do a zero incest run. There's the there's a Lionheart promise here. Oh, God. Out of context, Lionheart. Mm. It's only while we're playing CK3. Cha -cha. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> then Bayek to uni will accept. I do have the gold. Um, you're pretty good. But I think I'm going to save the money and have Balerian send their child to uni. For better education. Although I don't know why we're sending like three-year-olds to uni. What are they going to do? Eh? What are they going to do? Vassalize you. Over here. Oh, noise. 
tasty. I do love. I can grant some vassals around. Yeah, that's fine. Because I don't want to be over my limit anyway. I can station a men at arms regiment. The camel riders are unstationed. Oh, they were out. Uh, that element, wouldn't they? We'll pop them over here for now. Uh, I can demand payments from my heir, the Prince of Fashion. Yeah, take it, take his gold just before the wedding. Uh, then we'll wait. We'll wait a little bit. Isn't it a guardian? You are learned. I am learned. I will teach you. So I could send you to uni and hope you come out really good, but that's not going to be of any direct use to me. Also, place your bets on how long he's living for. He's 62 right now and possessed. My daughter can marry. Do, 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 do. I don't know why we're doing the Harry Potter theme right now. Um, let's find inheritable trait. And then let's switch by some of all skills. Ooh, a genius would be lovely. That's what we're really lacking. I think many geniuses around. 56. I want to get some genius blood going. Just those two. I mean, you're you're really good, actually, to be fair. Your stats are glorious. Gonna have to be matrilineal, though. Let's just hope you don't pop your clogs anytime soon. You are homosexual, though. But that didn't stop Bayek having nine children. So go for it. They're fun kids. Have uh, fun, kiddos. Right. Plan the grand wedding. Da, 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 da. Not a bloody wedding. No, 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 no. A grand wedding. Do we have it in Byzantium? Uh, we should have it in our capital. It's my capital. This will lead to a gold gain. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Don't need that. Don't need mercenary guards. Uh, we're going to make it. We're going to make this huge. We're going to go big. Big. Go big. And nobody go home. Silver and gold. Magnificent host. It's a wee bit expensive. And I'm doing this for... Um, seduce mother. No, recreation, I guess. So I don't really have any other need for stuff. Got my other daughter, who is scarred, but she's she's a beautiful giant. Ah, oh, she's married a genius as well. Good, good. Yes, let the genius flow. Start the grand wedding. I gained eager reveler. Wonderful. Welcome to a grand wedding. Oh, here we go, Crusader Kings, just like that. Pope's popped off. Did you hear my plans about the uh, Outrema Empire run? Also, I've got to admit, you are quite the imposing looking Pope. Quite the imposing Pope. That's that's quite like epic bit of hair and beard you got going on there. Popey. Damn. Good, 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 good for you. Good for you. Faction created against me? What? It's a wedding time. No time for factions. Waiting guests. Seven months until it begins. Oh, imagine having... Uh, I mean, to be fair, you tend to wait quite a bit. My wife's having a great time. She's already got the beer out. Valerian, the prince of fashion. He looks fancy. Look at look at that. Look at that. And his sister. Sister wives. We're going Targaryen. Can you can you blame a Targaryen for staying Targaryen? Hair ransom. Yep. If in doubt, Targaryen it out. That worked really well for them, right? x on the Targaryen, A. Eh?
gosh, it's, it's six months before the wedding. She, the, 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 the mother of the bride starts drinking and the mother of the groom, actually. God, that's nice and easy, isn't it? But, uh, God, at least we don't have to worry about like an absolutely massive family, like two sides. It's just, it's just our family all coming. Coming to the, to the wedding. Oh, lovely. Oh, yeah. There's always going to be that one disapproving auntie standing off the corner, isn't there? Back in my day, we didn't have sister wives. <laughs> it's always one. Drink of life. A toast to his head. Oh, why am I killing you? Were you, were you bad to me? Can't remember, but bye. Oh, yeah, he was my rival. Noise. I was like, who, who be you? Who be you? Why be you? What be you? Who are you? Another rival. Oh, wow. Oh, I've already tried murdering you and you survived, didn't you? Damn you. You're in my realm. Who's this? Who be you? Why be you? What be you? Were you trying to murder me at some point? Or you're under the Byzantines? Oh, didn't... Hang on, didn't... Oh, I know. You killed my son. You killed Dustan. Yes, that's why. That's what you did. That's why he needs to die. Okay, well, I can kill you now. Oh, the Book of Kings. What is this? The Book of Kings? Hello. Monthly renown, Persian opinion. Oh, boy. Help your village. Yeah, done. Give me the book. Start the scheme to murder this boy. Uh, is... Are you helping? Support my schemes. Noise. Oh, let's invite some people. Like you. With a cheeky bribe. Job done. Right. Um, let me put my book on display. Let's replace the horn. Oh, no, wait, no. Books need to go instead of the pedestal, right? Uh, weapons of combat. Can I only have the one book? Crime and punish. Oh, yeah, change that one out. Change that for the Book of Kings. More monthly renown. Yes, please. Yeah, there we go. 13 months. He's defo's dead. I think I'm just going to switch you back to Disrupt as well. Because I don't think we need you supporting that. It's a pretty surefire thing. Why am I killing you? <laughs> Sorry, sometimes I forget all the murders that are occurring. I can't help it sometimes. So many rivals, so many to murder. Oh, well. I'll find another. <sighs> Hello, poppets. Can't wait. Party! Oh, we get the wedding night. Hmm. No! She's no longer caravan master. She died in child, but oh no! Did the child survive? <gasps> A quick and beautiful child. Oh, she did not deserve this. Oh, on the day of my daughter's wedding. Such sad news. That another daughter would perish. Bringing life into the world. Um... Going to enjoy it too. I'm ashamed of myself? Why? Guards accompany this killjoy to the door. These colourful veils are sinful. Yeah, I'm going to enjoy myself too, mate. Deal with it. You douche. Boiling anger? Oh, no. Why is he having... I mean, you're stressed on your wedding day. That's fair. That's fine. Here we go. A misstep. Uh-oh. A 
trips and falls flat on her face on her way to her spouse. Oh dear. I can still salvage the situation. Diffuse situation. Let's move on. It happens. Hey, it happens. Don't worry about it. Everyone trips on their wedding day. I'm sure. A schema discovered. Someone is plotting against my wife. <gasps> no, the worthless fiend. Oh, you're, you're plotting against her. I'm going to imprison you. Naughty, naughty. You'll stay there and think about what you've done. A father's heart. Oh, yeah, he's really going for it. Oh, hang on, what's this? What, what? My court jester and my niece. Oh, dear, what are we doing? I couldn't be proud of Balerian, my beautiful groom. He's standing by my side. He's unwilling. Willingly discovered. Look at him. Isn't he radiant? And it's such a good match. Everything is perfect. As I finally turn around, I realize that my neighbor is none other than Jasmine. I can take advantage of this moment of connection. I'm just so proud. Aren't you jealous? She becomes my... Why are we, why are we peeing her off? No. I'm just very proud. Gain some renown. Yes, please. Everyone loves gaining some renown. Justice. Good. Good. Notable guest has arrived. A trained healer. Yeah, I'm okay. When I say I'm okay, I'm just going to double check. Court physician. He is excellent. Good. We all good then. Happy days. Right. Back to the wedding. Hey, Pauls. Ceremony has finally reached its climax. The traditional rituals have been completed and all that's left is the final vows, the formal consent, the seal on the marriage. As both Balerian and Masha say, I do, the crowd starts cheering. We all stand, witness the beginning of their life together. Exciting. And look, no one, no one has commented on the fact that they're brother and sister yet. With all the formalities behind us, it's time to celebrate. I signal for the servants to bring out food and drinks and to shepherd the guests to the feast venue. Let the wedding banquet begin. And after the wedding, it's time to break some vows. Oh my. Praise the happy couple as expected. Praise the party. Say something sweet but perfunctory. Praise the happy couple. Come on. Praise them. It's their day. It's their day. I'm paying for it, but it's their day. Find sculptures, exotic tapestries, strange foreign flower arrangements, and more festoon the banquet hall. A veritable feast for the eyes. Near my seat, uh, both Khan uh, Kotyan and Maharaja uh, Bert Platt share their opinions on the decorations. I picked many of the decorations myself. Friendship. Do some stress. Or oh, Bert Platt's right. It's just not what I had in mind. Don't get involved. I picked many of them myself, of course. I became the owner of the renowned antelope hide. Oh my, murder en route. What's this? My niece. Okay. <laughs> Every feast, there's always one. Every single feast, one long-winded, ill-born pissant cornering people who just uh, who just will not be silent. Gently exit the conversation. Shut up. Gained snooty for 15 years. That's very interesting. <laughs> An approachable 15 years. Grin and bear it. Um. Yeah, go for go for gently exit the conversation. Give it a go. Hey, I exit myself. I gained a perk in diplomacy, which is obviously not something we're doing. Opinion gained from sending a gift. Benevolent intent. A firm hand. Befriend. Or groom to rule. Children receive one to three extra skill points. I'm not going to have any more kids right now, I wouldn't have thought. So I'm going to go for befriend. Because then I could befriend my steward to be more effective.
What's happening? What's going on? Um, let's sneak out so we can talk properly. Oh, we become rivals. Oh, what's... Hang on, sorry. What? My daughter and friend. She's pregnant. Can't tear myself away from my friend. Oh, right. Okay. I should be spending time with them. But they start to glare at me. Okay. Come join us. He becomes my friend. They become friend. 90% chance they fall into an argument. Um, Bellerin, come join us. He has a good time. Good, good, good. That's what we want. And we've got some more renown. Nice. Uh, architect ancestry. Ooh, nice. Yeah, keep going through blood. Uh, what do we want to choose? They become more common. Why do you want scaly? I guess to become more dready. I feel like quick would be useful because we don't have much of that right now. That's just that's just a good one throughout. So life expectancy plus five years, five year years of fertility plus five. We've not had much trouble with that. Let's go for quick. Then oxygenarians. Nice. Child of my dynasty. Oh, they had theirs. Good. Good, good, good. Uh, Delaram. They're going to be strong and wise. She's had too much to drink. Oh, yeah. She's had a great time. Woo. Want to be ashamed of yourself? What a show you put on. <laughs> She's very, very stabby. So I don't know if I want to upset her. Uh, what a show you put on. Oh, tis the wedding night. It is time. Spiced wine vendors um, praise you. What's this? War waits for no man. Um, I can manage things from here. What is this? A vassal? May your humours rot in your living body. This is my son and daughter's wedding to each other. How dare you, you adulterous, drunkard, cur, irritable cur. How ruddy dare you. Right. We will put them down swiftly. And without mercy. Raise all men at arms, please. I mean, it's nearly over, which is good. Dynastic Doubts. Oh, Saladin. Saladin speaks quietly. You know, I must say I have some my misgivings. I worry for my brother. His bond opens the gates for Persian intrigues to destroy the Persian Empire and the House of Persia from within. Come, brother. Give it time. Give them a moon together before you pass such judgments. Yes. Trust me, it's a good match. Yeah, I mean, they couldn't get closer. They're still gathering anyway. Stewardship perk. My domain for troops. We were going through this for architect for building stuff, weren't we? Yeah, we'll start going through there. Into the night. At last, I could really cut loose. Do it. Cut loose. The flame of Persia likes to dance. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not feeling well. Oh no, my health is poor. Why am I not feeling well? No, say it ain't so. I 
I've got so much left to live for. The conclusion. Thank you all for coming. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Dangerous faction. All right, row. We have a liberty faction. All right, row. Hey, old buddy, old pal. How you doing? Would you like some gold? Let's just see if I can do a marriage first. I must have some spare children somewhere. Surely. My son. Oh, yes, old Arslan. Uh, yeah, sure, marry the hunchback. It'll be fine. Sorry, Arslan. Sometimes my wife overhears me watching the stream. It's tough explaining incest is wincest or take that child to the murder forest. Ah, sorry, not sorry. Are camel men at arms any good? Um, they've not really let me down massively so far. They've been all right. They've been fun. These guys, though, where are they? Uh, these guys, the uh, AR, are really good, though. They're they're insane, in fact. As are the the cavalry. But yeah, like these guys are better than armored footmen. They've got more damage and they have decent pursuit. Um, they counter spearmen just like armored armored footmen. And no terrain effects. And they cost less than armored footmen. Five days left. Excellent. Boom. Hey, uh, you've come against my exalted warlord. Yeah, thought you might run. Die. Feeling poor. Oh, no. Court grandeur increases. Nice. All right. Smash the rebel scum. Here we go. Can't run now. Boom. Get smushed. Let me annihilate your capital, please. Stop the villain. Hey, how's that going on murdering this dude? Oh, no, two years. Come on. Bribe someone into my dad. Hit the capital. Hit the capital. Celebration. Uh, no, don't waste money on him. Befriending. Bridging gaps. Redouble efforts. Yeah. The winged messenger. Too risky. Don't worry about it. It's all good. We got this. Hindering relations. Best. No, best to ignore. Blackmail. Except, but you're getting murdered next, mate. Welcome to the murder list. How much will they pay for you? Do, do it. 100 gold. Happy days. Still have 100% as well. A toast to his health. Enjoy your drink. Ah, ah, ah. Right, move this back to Constantinople. Faith holder must be okay. Yeah, that's fine. Theodician walls. Expanded docks. We can upgrade. There's like a lot of gold for not a huge amount of gain there. Okay. 
I can't upgrade that. We need battlements, right? Well, yeah, let's, let's not do that just yet. I don't think that's worth it. What's this? Ah, oh, their first child together. <gasps> Chosen one. A granddaughter with all three. Oh, but we don't have prefers. We don't have equal inheritance, do we? So she won't be considered, even though she's got she's got two, two of three at that level. Oh, we're not gonna get. We're not a male is gonna be like terrible, isn't it? Oh, nuts! It's me now. Are you going to be strong and wise? Chosen grandchild, drink of life. Nice. Befriend the dance. I made a friend. Nice. Can I make him my best friend? Is that a thing I can do? As long as I just befriend him, right? I don't know. Don't I get a bonus on his actions? Oh. Neighbors can be vassalized. Noise. Noise. No exemption. Damn it. That's fine. I do love it when you can just go on a vassalization spree. Can I not vassalize you? He's incapable. The last bit of the Persian Empire I need, isn't it? Wow, he just really hate me. His realm is remote from mine. What? Oh, because it's not directly. Really? That seems silly. Can I send you a gif to improve your opinion? I can. Let's try that. Any close to being vassalized? Very close. I don't know if it'll be enough. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Can I give you... I can give you crime and punishment. Do you want that book? No. Do, 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 do. And I'll leave that. I'll probably just sway you then, I guess. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Granted marriage favor. Oh yeah, you're the next on the murder list, aren't you? Although you've already done that. Marriage favor, what's that mean? Oh, with him. Oh, right, yeah, we definitely want that. Die. Die, matey, die. There we go. Get you in support. Happy days. Job done. We need to deal with the other ones. Yeah, you're dead. You can go. Yeah, our inheritance. Succession. Male only. 
equal. I'd have to get used to to like it. I need crown high crown authority as well. Great. Okay, pass this law. Then we can move on to that with our next character, right? So I can always change it. Getting stuck in. Uh, nip back down from a challenge, Bayek. Yeah, stay brave, mate. Uh, although it's calm, but what are you? You're, you're learning. Now nah, be brave. Be a bold, brave chap. Can't change it without being. More blackmail. What? How are people finding out about my murders? Okay, you need to die the next then. Oh, hang on. Am I already? Are you already on my list? Yes, he's he's my rival. He's just oh, okay. That's fine. He's already on the death list. Good. Good. Um, your faith does not have equal doctrine. Your culture does not have culture. Oh, so I need I need my culture reformed to allow that. I was thinking about that, wasn't I? You were looking. Is it faith? Male dominated. Is it faith and culture I need to make? That's martial. It's the faith, isn't it? Yeah. So we'd have to create a new... I don't really want to create a new one. And we can't... Can't change this one though, can we? Yeah. I need a lot of more. I'm a religious icon, so we're, we're quite close, but... Like, that'd have to be equal. That's all I want to probably change. Keep the rest. We can get rid of concubines, so I'm not too bothered by it. But, okay. Yeah, I won't worry about that just yet, then. Um, yeah, so we're going to have to hope that they have a son that's just as good. Otherwise, we might have to do some reforging of titles. Cyrus comes of age. Good. Oh, you've got the trifecta, yeah. Another another one that could do it. We were thinking about making him, but then it was like a long road to disinherit, wasn't it? We will find you a spouse with inheritable traits. Can we do some of all skills? Because that should usually try and throw out ones if they've got inheritable traits, multiple, multiple traits. Just a bit too old. Uh, 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 uh. 13 that is something quick but kind of hoping for someone a bit ah Amazonian that's not terrible do we have anything better than that sure uh, oh, you could marry oh. 16 year age gap though maybe not <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, they're perfect. <laughs> oh wait, they, that's the chosen grand uh, grandchild. Oh, they're genius. Mm. Don't want to wait that long. Where's the Amazonian eight-year-old? There we go. Do that. <laughs> Oh, gift artifact, humble gift. Oh my, yes. Well, thank you. What a, what a lovely bauble. Trinket. No, it's a uh, it's a bit of jewelry. Is, is it? Uh, 
Regal artifacts. Is he not giving it to me? What happened to it? Did I give it away? Is it a raw court artifact? Yes. That's why. I can vassalize you. Where are you? Oh, no, it won't accept it now. Come on, mate. I can give you a gift, though. I won't demand payment from his son. Leave all those for now. Leave that, leave that. Uh, have I got this guy wanting to be vassalized yet? No, he's maxed out as well. Giddy. I hope your air is better. Yeah, I'm trying to sway you. Uh, maybe, maybe, can I, a band, can I, um, befriend you with that? Give it, let's try and befriend you, see if that does anything. Maybe that would work. All right, what can we do here? Oh yeah, we were going to upgrade that, weren't we? But we probably should do some other bits and pieces. Like at the capital. Let's just come back. Where is it? There it is. Bada bing, bada boom. Nothing else we can do because we need battlements. No, keep. And for that, I need battlements innovation. Are we are we researching that? Yes, we are. Oh, we're nearly done. Nice. Six months. Creme de la creme achievement unlocked. Royal Court is a rank 10. Have him killed. Ask of wine, may he rest in peace. Good. Right. My rival. Time to go away, matey. Bye bye now. I always love it when I can bribe your spy master. That's just cracking. This isn't ours. This isn't our kids, though, is it? Da, 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 da. My daughter, who's married to this guy. What? Oh, the genius. Yep. Yeah. And we've got Bayek, a twin, hale and handsome, and Dara. Oh, he's, oh, genius! Wow. Yes, we go super strong and wise, you lot. Incredible. Old court. No, I don't want to. No, don't waste my gold on him. Don't waste me gold on him. Tax collectors. We've lost one. Need a new one. Excellent aptitude. Boom. In the go. Nice. I don't want to go to your hunts. I just want. I'm a death. My rival. Lovely. Right. He's now my friend. Will he accept? Ah, damn it. I'm going to get a modifier plus two. Change it up that much. Um. What else I can do? Need it so I've got all of Persia under my belt, mate.
Oh, and that little bit here. That's part of Persia. And that. Declare war to Dizur siege seize that bit. I mean, at this point, I might as well Dizur claim that bit. Oh, I can't get both, can I? If your son won't kneel to me, I'll find another. Let's get someone murdered. Beautiful. Learning on the job. Purchase truce. Yep, yeah, done. Give us your gold, mate. Give us your gold. Have we finished researching? Yes, we have. Good. Uh, horse, house, or soldiers, manga. Yeah, get manga nails next. All right, let's try and murder this one. He's incapable. Called my dynasty. Oh, did your previous husband? No, no, it's those guys. Zand. Yep. Schema discovered. Okay. Winged messenger. Too risky, don't do it. Heavily stock stall stores. Yeah, do that. God, the Byzantines are in bits. Did they did she take over? Oh my days, what the heck happened? You do not look well, love. You're excommunicated. You're malnourished and emancipated. Oh my. What will you war for a kingdom? What the heck? It's a lot to, a lot to conquer. We probably should look to do a holy war soon. Oh, the Abbasids are back. Probably going for the Kingdom of Pont is actually a pretty good shout, actually. It's probably the biggest chunk we can do, no? Or going for that big chunk over there. Bulgaria. Or Anatolia. Pontus, Anatolia. I mean, even uh, like, yeah. Which of those should we go for? I think we'll perhaps open with a poll next time or people on YouTube want to suggest which chunk of the Byzantine Empire we bite out next. Feel free to let me know in the comments. He's still poor, but he's not disappearing just yet. So, yeah, we'll continue this adventure next time. And the next stream recording of this will be after Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, everyone watching. Um, it's probably probably go out uh, on uh, Friday. Um, so, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and uh, Christmas Day next week. Uh, don't... Yeah, we'll try and stream more of this. Um next week but if there isn't then it probably won't be until the new year that we get more of this because with christmas falling on a monday this year um i'll be taking a few days off uh next week anyway so and then with obviously new year's straight around the corner the following weekend it may well be there's kind of like a week without lots of regular streamed content uh because i'll be taking some time off i'll probably get some recordings done in that time uh of napoleon total war um and yeah, that's that's probably that's probably all that will go out for the for the next uh, kind of week or so. Just some more Napoleon Total War, and then we'll hit the ground running early January with lots of new content, uh, as well as all your old favourites returning as well. So until the next one, hope you guys have enjoyed. Take care, and ciao for now.